Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about electrical potential energy and electrical potential. Now keep in mind that electric potential is actually the same as voltage. So when we hear voltage, we talk about electrical potential. How do we relate that? Well, first of all, let's start with a simple capacitor uh, plate. We have some positive charges on one side, some negative charges on the other side, and an electric field in between. Let's say we place a small test charge inside here on the negative plate. It's a positive charge, and we realize that the electric field strength can be found by measuring the force on this charge and divided by the charge itself. Or, we can say that the force on that charge will be equal to the charge times the strength of the electric field. Now, what would happen if we take this charge and we push it across to the other side? Of course, we'd have to apply a force equal to this force and move it a distance d between the two plates. The work done, therefore, is equal to the force times the distance, and we realize that the force is equal to the charge times the electric field strength. So this is equal to Q times E times d. Now, we know that the units for work is the same as the units for energy, which is joules. Let's see if these add up to joules, if we convert this to the units. So the units of charge will be coulombs, the units of the electric field we knew was newtons per coulomb, and the units for distance is equal to meters. Notice that the coulombs cancel out, we end up with newtons times meters, and of course that's equal to the definition of joules, which is the unit of energy. So indeed, we can see that this is equal to energy or work done, force times distance, QED. So the units do match. Now let's define voltage. Electrical potential is defined as the work done to get the charge to the other side through an electric field divided by the size of the charge, Q. Well, since we know that the work done is equal to QED, and we divide that by Q, the Q's cancel out, this is equal to E times D. The question now is, what are the units for voltage, now that we know that voltage is equal to the electric field times the distance traveled through the field? Well, we know that the electric field can be defined as newtons per coulomb, and the distance can be defined as meters, and here, Newton times meters, well, we know that's equal to joules, so the units would be joules per coulomb. And that would be the units associated with voltage. Electrical potential of voltage is in terms of joules, which is energy, per coulomb, which is charge. Energy per charge is the concept of voltage or electrical potential. Now we're going to come up with a different unit for electric field besides Newtons per coulomb. Let's see here, we have the concept that the potential is equal to the electric field times the distance traveled through it, or the electric field can be defined as the voltage divided by the distance. So we can say that this is equal to voltage divided by the distance. And, let's see here, voltage, we have a unit for that. The unit for voltage can also be expressed in terms of volts. And so we can simply say the unit for voltage is volt. Now, unfortunately, we use V to indicate voltage for the actual concept of electrical potential, and we use V to indicate the unit of voltage, which is a volt. And so therefore we use V for both, which is sometimes a little bit confusing. At any rate, let's go ahead and now plug in the units for volt and the units for distance in terms of the electric field and let's see what we get. So we get the units of volts, and we get the units for distance of meters, which means that the electric field can also be expressed as volts per meter. And so now we have two expressions, or two units for the electric field. We can say that the electric field can be expressed in terms of newtons per coulomb, and we can say that the electric field can also, and I shouldn't put an equal sign there because we know it's not equal, they're simply the units of that, and the electric field can also be expressed in terms of volts per meter. Now let's do one more thing. 
Let's find the basic units for the electric field, the basic units for volt, and the basic units for, well, for just electric field, I guess I have it twice, but let's find the basic units for the electric field and the basic units for volt so we can compare them to each other. And they should differ by just a little bit, I guess they should only differ by the unit meters. Okay, electric field. Starting with Newtons per Coulomb, we can then say that Newtons can be expressed in terms of kilograms, meters per second squared times Coulomb, and that will then become the standard set of units for the electric field. We use all four, meters, kilograms, seconds, and coulombs. Now let's do the same for voltage. Voltage is equal to, well, it's equal to the electric field times distance. So electric field times distance, which means that the units cannot be expressed as follows this. Electric field is kilograms, meters, divided by second square times coulombs, and then if we multiply the times meters, we can see that the voltage are expressed in units of kilograms, meters squared per second squared times coulombs. And this are the units of voltage, while these are the units of electric field. And that's how we know.